Hi guys, in today's video I just have a little surprise for you guys. So I have adopted a new female Syrian hamster. She is currently six months old. I've only had her now for two days. So basically she was from a local garden centre and nobody wanted her and they said she's free to a good home so I went and picked her up. So I only rang up asking about a wheel for Poppy and then I was like, oh, do you have any hamsters in? I feel really stupid asking that. I didn't even really want another hamster because I don't know. I feel like I just wanted to wait until anything happened to Ash, until anything happened to Ash, because Ash is quite old now. So I was like, okay, just just wait. And they were like, oh yeah, we have a female Syrian who's six months old and nobody wants her. So I was like, oh god. And then they were like, oh, she's free to go home. We just want her to kind of find a home. So I was like, okay, if she's still there tomorrow. I'll come and get her. So she was there the next day. So I had to set up the cage, and then I went and got her. So she was living in a Mample 80 in the garden centre. She had an 11 inch flying saucer. They took really good care of her, to be honest with you. And I was really impressed, to be honest with you, with, with their care of her. So uh, yeah, when I got there, I kind of asked a little bit more information about her and her backstory. So basically she was bought by a family and they, got, and they were basically told, like every, like most pet shops say, don't interact within, don't interact with her, 48 to 72 hours their child was poking and prodding her within three hours so she turned around bit the child drew blood the next day the family brought her back and she just didn't nobody wanted her after that so yeah she currently lives in the barney cage which is 100 by 50 it's quite a bit of an upgrade from what she had she's super confident like she takes treats off me she took treats off me like a few hours after i got her she was coming up to the bars while i was giving um pixie something so i decided to give her a few mealworms she was really really good about that she's not bothered over people walking in the room like if like if somebody walks in the room the pixie doesn't know or pixie or, or who isn't me pixie starts freaking out and jumping at the side of the cage while this girl's like yeah fine i'll just look at you and watch you what you're doing so yeah she is like a diluted cream that has like a white band around her you can't really see the band because the cream is so diluted she's huge compared to um poppy i was like oh my god but yeah she is not keeping with this heat at all yeah so she's just so pretty but this will be the last hamster for quite a while but her cage is just set up quite basic at the moment i just wanted to get her into something with some enrichment i've ordered some things off Zooplus for her so that should be coming soon she's got like a bridge thing and all the other lovely hanging stuff so yeah so I'm now just going to add some clips on the very end of here so you guys can get a good look at her. 